Hello everybody, thank you for watching my videos in my YouTube channel Sergio Explains. Today I want to talk about this mini bottle, uh, Jack Daniels, uh, from the Japanese market uh, that came out in 1993 as a special edition with this wooden box. Now, uh, the liquid inside is just like the traditional all number seven that we all uh, know very well, uh, but this very limited edition that came out in the Japanese market, this is a wooden box. Um, and it has some Japanese writing in the back. Let's see if you can see it. It also has a little bit of Japanese writing in the front and on the side. So this is a very collectible bottle because, well, first of all, they didn't make many of them, but you can, don't break it, Sergio. Uh, you can imagine that when it first came out, it was pretty much the regular price of that mini bottle. It must have been almost for certain under $5. Uh, to pay for this item. Now, this immediately became extremely collectible and they made so few of them that nowadays, quite a few years later, collectors are paying a lot of money for this bottle. And, you know, there aren't that many uh, mini bottles that come in wooden boxes. And when they do, they are usually special editions, just like this one. Now you can buy a mini bottle like this one, uh, probably at your uh, corner grocery, uh, liquor store, uh, but you cannot usually find them with a wooden box. By the way, a lot of people call these wooden boxes coffins, like uh, the wooden box where they put you after you die, you know? So uh, if you are trying to find this item, the word coffin might help you find one of these or uh, similar items. Um, I don't like that word very much. It's associated with death for me. And um, I, I just call them miniature wooden boxes. Um, they are my favorites, to tell you the truth. Uh, for full-size bottles, as you can see behind me, I specialize in collecting full-size bottles that come in wooden boxes only. If it doesn't come in a wooden box, I usually do not collect it. I open it and drink it. Uh, but my collection, I don't have that much space. And this is uh, a recurring theme for a lot of collectors. We run out of space and or we run out of money too. So uh, a lot of collectors have to decide uh, where you want to take your collection. You want to buy more and more and more and more and have a large volume or do you want to specialize in something? And that's what I did. I specialized for full-size bottles in wooden boxes only. And for miniature bottles, my collection is specialized in uh, boxes of, of any kind, whether they are cardboard boxes, tin boxes, or wooden boxes. Now, these wooden boxes are the most rare, let's put it that way, uh, of them all. And I only have, at the time, at this time, I only have three uh, mini bottles in my collection that come in wooden boxes. This is one of them. Let me finish showing you this, this one. Uh, the inside has that cardboard, gold color, cardboard insert, not sure how to call that. And if you have never seen one of these in person, um, let me see if I can do that. The, the photograph of Jack Daniel here is like a shiny metallic material. Um, I wouldn't say it's totally black and white. It has a little bit, I see a little bit of color in it, like a golden color. Uh, it's not just silver. It's a, It has a little bit of yellowish color too. And so it reflects light that way. It is a beautiful, 
presentation wood mini box. Let's try not to scratch it. And I have two more that come in wooden boxes. This is the 16 year old Glen Goyne single cask. Also a beautiful wooden box. Let's see. It says Glen Goyne here on the side, but you can see it very well. There you go. And it also has uh, a sticker, a label in the back explaining what it is. Uh, a beautiful uh, box also. Let me put it there so you can see it. And the third one that I have is this 10-year-old Glenmore NG. Uh, this is a normal, also a normal uh, bottle. Uh, the drink inside is the basic 10-year-old Glenmore NG, but at one time it came out in this special edition wooden box. And so it is very collectible when they do that. And let me put it here so you can continue seeing it. Um, I used to have a Macallan fine and rare. Uh, let me move over so I can put the photo right here. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Fine and rare, 29 year old from 1976. And the key word here is I used to have it. I cannot show it to you because I don't have it any longer. And why don't I have it any longer? Did I open it and drink it? No, <laughs> no. I ended up trading it uh, to another collector, another Macallan collector. I traded that 29 year old fine and rare from 1976 for this 1990 uh, 18 year old Sherry Oak in um, collectible wooden box also. So I think I made a good deal there. Uh, I collect both minis and full size bottles. And since I had that mini, um, I traded it for, for this one. So that is uh, <laughs> one story to tell. Now, you cannot go and buy these minis uh, at a liquor store any longer nowadays because they were like a limited release at that time. This one came out in Japan in 1993. Imagine that, you know. Um, so, but there are some that are kind of in the market right, right now or that came out not too long ago that you can still get. For example, there is a 40-year-old Glenfar class that comes in a mini wooden box or coffin uh, that I don't have. Uh, I basically <laughs> had to stop buying because I'm out of place anyhow, uh, ran, out of, ran out of room. Uh, but if you're looking in uh, to buy some of these special edition now, of course, they're more expensive and the more time it passes The more expensive they are you cannot Buy one of these for five dollars ten dollars not even for like the Jack Daniels forget about it now when you're collecting these kind of items um like I was talking about before, you have to decide whether you want to have a few very good ones or a lot uh, that might not be so exclusive uh, for a couple of reasons. One is the space uh, and another one is the money. So if you have the space and you have the money, then <laughs> you can do whatever you want. Um, but most of us have limited space and limited money. Now, my way of approaching this is instead of buying, if I have $500 to spend in my collection for a, a whole year or whatever, uh, I decide to spend $500 uh, buying items for my collection. Instead of buying 100 bottles, mini bottles, that cost $5 each, I would rather have one of these. And that's what I do, you know. So 
I I rather spend five hundred dollars in this uh, mini Jack Daniels special edition wooden box Japanese market nineteen ninety three than have a hundred mini bottles that are five dollars each. Um, so that's how I do it, and the thing is, you need to be if you want to do this kind of collecting. Uh, first of all, you have to save up your money and pass on the uh, cheaper. Uh, don't don't fall for that temptation. You know, instead of buying for a whole year a hundred mini bottles at five dollars each, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. When one of these comes up, they don't come up in the market very often. You can find them sometimes sporadically. Uh, at auction and they go for over three hundred dollars plus auction fees plus shipping etc etc so uh, I'm not saying it's worth five hundred dollars at least not just yet but it might be in the near future because the price continues going up so when you've been looking for a bottle or an item in general for a long period of time once you see it don't start bargaining the price you know accumulate your money and if it's worth it, if they're asking $500 pay for it $500 then you'll have it and then you can start looking for something else spend a lot of time and save your money and then bing, get the good one so um, that's it for it uh, for me for right now and I wanted to show you this if you have more information about any of these bottles like always I don't have all the answers uh, make a comment write a comment tell me I will be in charge of redistri redistributing this information that you provide so we are a community I'm trying to help you you can help me and help others too so uh, happy collecting Thank you again for subscribing to my YouTube channel, Sergio Explains. And I'm also on Instagram. I post photos there all the time. Until then, bye-bye.